This is my case. I had my green card received last April 30, 2021, and it was expired last April 2023. But before that, I applied for my renewal. So you got your green card through marriage to a U.S. citizen, and you filed the I-751. Was that based on a joint application with your husband? Yes. Okay. Okay, continue. I received a 48-month extension of my green card. Right. So I did not receive my green card yet. My question is, can I apply for my U.S. citizen without the green card? When did you get the conditional green card? You got the original one in 2021. What month did you say? I forgot. April 30, 2021. The answer is this. I have your answer already. The answer is this. You've been a permanent resident, conditional, but a permanent resident since April of 2021. You're in presumably a bona fide marriage with your spouse. You have filed to remove the conditions yes. of your residence. You are now have a green card, 22, 23, 24. You're past your three-year mark of being a lawful resident of the United States. You have every right to yes. file for your citizenship. You should do so immediately. You should file your N-400. And when you file your N-400, you will probably get a quicker result than waiting on the decision on your I-751 on your extension. And when you go for your interview, for your citizenship, bring your spouse with you, and they're going to interview you for both the extension and the citizenship simultaneously, and hopefully you'll get it and you'll become a citizen. Oh, thank you. So even if I have those notices, like I got two. The yes. one is February 6th and, and another one on March 15th. Yeah. So I was confused because well, I got to the same but you're, you know, you're, extension for 48 months. You have extensions. You're in legal status. You've been a resident for more than three years. File your citizenship. So that was my first question. Oh, we have multiple okay. questions. Okay, yeah. second question. So I, <laughs> The second question is my sister got a green card last September 2023. Right. But then she has a visitor's visa that will expire on 2030, which was taken in Manila, Philippines, of course. Right. Can he cancel the Manila tourist visa or it's automatic? It's it's automatically canceled, canceled when she got her green card. But then she went to the Philippines and then she was questioned in the immigration and they did the stamp on the U.S. tourist visa. She was inspected improperly, so she should give me a call then. She should have been inspected as a lawful resident. You told me she has a green card. Once you have your green card, you're yeah, and good, and you should be showing your permanent residence and entering as a permanent resident. We need to fix that problem. If she if she has a lawful resident, they inspected her as a visitor. She's not. What will be that problem? Because the immigration told her that you will have a problem. You have to cancel your tourist visa in the Philippines. No, you don't have to cancel and, uh, anything. No. Something got screwed up at the airport. Okay. You have to go back to inspections, okay. customs and border patrol and fix the problem. She should call me immediately. Okay. Thank you so much, Brad. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Bye.